What's up YouTube? In this video we have a Raspberry Pi 3 kit from Nosatech and the way that this is different than the Canna kit is there really is no really big differences. The main one is the power supply is a little different. It doesn't say Canna on it, but it's rated at the same amount of power. The case is almost identical. It looks almost 100% the same to me. You get the Raspberry Pi 3, but this also does come with thermal grease, which is a nice add-on. This is really, really good because this really is going to give you a lot more cooling, which is the thermal grease between the processor and the heat sinks. So that's all you got in the box here. We have a Raspberry Pi 3, we have our case, two heat sinks, about three feet of cable on the power adapter, and we have the thermal grease here. First thing to do is unbox the Pi, since we have the rest of it all unboxed. And then inside you have the quick start guide, and you have the actual board itself and an anti-static bag. So here's the board here. You have your CPU and GPU there. You got the modem port and Wi-Fi there. And then you have the RAM on the back. Now these kits only come with the two heat sinks for the top here. You can get heat sinks for the RAM as well, but I wouldn't really worry about it. But I think this really is the big differentiating thing on the Canna kit. The Canna kit is also $50, you get everything else like this, but this one does come with the heat sink grease. So, with this, how do you apply it? So it's usually a good idea to just put it on the heat sink. I prefer to do that, it's a little less messy. And the whole idea is you don't want to do like a big gob in the middle, and then, uh, and then just put it on there and let it smear. The problem with that is you don't necessarily get an even coat. So what I'm doing here is put a little on, and you want it to be very thin. You don't want it to be thick. So what I like to do is with a card, smear it on there. Make sure it's completely covered, but a nice thin layer of grease. Okay? Let me just make sure I got that even. I'm going to go straight across. So you got that on there. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. There we go. Smoosh it down. And then that'll dry up. I actually have enough residue here that I could probably don't need to really apply in the actual. Um, I'm just going to apply a little more. All right, so I got that nice and flat as well. We're going to go ahead and put that on. All right, there you go. Clean up your mess. Um, go ahead and recap this, and now I can use it for another build. There we go. Cap that up. Have some extra thermal grease for my next build now. And then as far as putting this in the case, it's fairly easy. You can see down here I have a spot for a micro SD. So that's going to go... Oh no, this one, you just gotta slide it under these two hooks here, so it's fairly easy to just, it's pretty much almost a drop straight down in. Then you get the second piece here. We'll go ahead and add those. Snap that straight on. Make sure everything is smooth. Okay, now that that's all on, we can finish with the last cover. And there you go. Last thing to do would just be plug in your power and your HDMI. And here it is. Here it is in all of its glory with the heat sinks, heat sink thermal paste on there. This will definitely handle an overclock 1.3 gigahertz, no problem. Raspberry Pi 3, 1.2, ready to go. Really good stuff. Have a space for your GPIO pins. It's a nice clean case. So another source for a really nice kit, reasonable price, $49.99, free shipping, really good stuff. Another great source to grab a Raspberry Pi for all your retro gaming needs or whatever else kind of projects you want to do on it. This kit does come with the thermal grease, which, you know, could cost you about $5, $10. So it is a nice little savings there to get that included in the kit, which you don't get with the Canna kit. So something to consider. There'll be links in the description if you're interested in this. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, don't forget to a little like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys on the next one.